Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted on here, about three months, I've just been super busy, but I'm coming back with a review of the brand new 93 Classic line Dr. Grant Tactical Claw Pack. Um, so this is going to be the first uh, episode in a series where we look at this new 93 Classic line. Um, I was debating on whether or not I was going to pick these up, um, but once I saw them in the store, I just couldn't resist. Um, the packaging is incredible. This art is great. Um, it just evokes that classic Kenner Jurassic Park feeling so much, and I just couldn't resist picking these up. So I do plan on reviewing um, the rest of this line. I'm super excited to look at that t-rex but looking at the box art here flip it around you can see all this awesome artwork it just it looks so cool contents back there the phone scan gimmick thing and as well as a very kenner-esque um collect them all sort of uh thing there so that's pretty cool uh, so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, crack this thing open so there is no tape it's glued shut from the sides so if you want to try to preserve the box i recommend you be uh, pretty careful and just sort of score down until you uh, get through all of that uh, glue it's been so long since i've opened a closed style box like this um, and it's just it's so nostalgic because you know they really just don't make closed boxes like these anymore especially for small figures like this it would be in sort of a blister pack or, or something like that so first off we have our instruction manual here and i usually don't care too much about the instructions but i found these were uh, pretty cool and maybe helpful because there are a lot of small pieces so i could see a child maybe needing a little bit of guidance here but here's uh alan grant and then we also have our gallimimus a little a little plastic thing in there helping its feet not to warp always a nice addition and then we have these uh, two little uh bags here and in this first one we have this uh, baby hatchling velociraptor which I actually think is super cool um, very nicely detailed we'll look at that a little bit later and then in this bag we have all of the accessories and you do get a ton of accessories which I think is pretty cool now taking a closer look at uh, Grant here we can see he has his uh, more combat ready appearance maybe he's not so much film accurate um, but it is a little bit more like Kenner where they weren't really focusing on film screen accuracy as much as playability and just making it um, good for the kids so you can see he's got his blue shirt sort of green pants brown combat boots as well as his classic you know tan hat there and then he has these awesome accessories that you can put on this is sort of like a maybe a bulletproof vest or something um which is pretty crazy and over the top but so was kenner so we can see where they got the inspiration for that and we have these little binoculars very sarah harding like reminds me of that but you can just put those around his neck and then we, we have the gallimimus which is obviously paying homage to the classic series 2 um, Gallimimus figure and its paint job. It's very over the top, but I really do love this paint job. I think it looks great, and obviously it's a more accurate sculpt as well. Um, and as far as articulation, legs, tail, um, arms all move, um, as well as the head is on sort of this ratcheting ball joint, which is pretty cool, so you can get some pretty crazy movement out of it. Um, and this is the same sculpt as the Mattel Galloping Gallimimus, um, but it does not have the galloping feature. That is instead replaced with this phone gimmick, and uh, I already stated how I feel about this. Um, I'm not a huge fan, so we won't be really looking at that in the video, but there it is nonetheless. And then we can go ahead and get him suited up with the capture gear. So we just have this piece that goes over his head and then locks um, sort of like handcuffs around his wrists here. Very much like Kenner, we have the classic sort of ankle brace here that goes around the ankles and shackles him in. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, so far I'm loving this set. And then here we have a very Ellie Sattler-esque gun here with the projectile attached to a string. Um, and it's sort of like a grappling hook deal. Um, and I think this is pretty cool. Um, and obviously it's uh, pretty effective. Um, 
I love the detailing here and the paint scheme is obviously very much like series one Grant's um, accessories were this color and as try as I might I could not get him to hold this uh, huge gun but And then we have this other sort of grappling gun. It's a little less cool. This, this one isn't my favorite. It just kind of like extends out and you can just sort of put a dinosaur in it. So, I mean, it's it's fine. And I'm glad they included more accessories um, for the price point, but um, this is not my favorite weapon, even though it is a little lighter and he can't hold it sort of better. Um, he just has to lean back, you know, pretty far. And then how could we forget about our tiny little hatchling velociraptor? I really love this thing. It's really cool. A nice sculpt. Honestly, probably a better sculpt than those Kinner hatchlings. Um, as much as I love them, this figure does look great. So overall, um, for this set, I can see kids having a great time playing with this set. And collectors alike, it's very much paying homage to the Kinner line. Now I want to compare this to the classic Kenner Series 1 Alan Grant, which this is obviously akin to. Now obviously there's a height difference, Kenner was 4 inches and these are 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, um, but you can see with the sculpt, with the knee pads, with the combat boots, the coloring, the coloration of the accessories is very much similar. We have the gray vest matching the gray straps of uh, Series 1's backpack. And then obviously the face sculpt on the Mattel is going to be better um, just because modern technology. And also, like I mentioned before, um, the Kenner figures were made before the cast was really locked down and they know who to base the head sculpt off of. So yeah, that is uh, this set. Um, tune in next time. We're going to be looking at the Ian Malcolm set, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Great set, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.